try that again. All right. Let's grab this one. Did this one have any screws? Oh, it did. It had screws. Uh, hmm. All right. So this one is partially taken apart already. Magically took the bottom off already. This is a Space Gray A1708 13 inch MacBook Pro function key model. Yes, not turning on. Not good. No signs of current corrosion. I mean, there's corrosion here, some wetness. Batteries unplugged. So the board looks a little nasty. Nothing too crazy. We got a rusty screw here. We got a rusty screw there. What's it doing on the amp on the USB C? <clears throat> Five volts. 10 milliamps. Scope cam. Five point one two volts, zero milliamps. What about the other port? Yeah, the port jumping around, or is it? Five point one two volts, zero milliamps. So should we just start taking off CD thirty two seventeen or fifteens and stuff? Start soldering on things? No, let's try to figure out <clears throat> what's going on first. So this board is an 820000840. So we'll pull up a schematic. And a board view. And what do you want? Who are you? Don't bug me. Mm. Check our PB bus first. What is our PB bus at? Let's plug this back in. Batteries unplugged. What is our PB bus at? Our PB bus is zero volts. Well, that's not good. Zero volts on PB bus. Okay, do we have a short on PB bus? We're in diode mode. We have no short on the PB bus. We do not have a short on PB bus. What is our next power rail we should be checking? Um... What is it? PP, PP3V3. Where's our power? Our aliases page. So we're gonna go and Control F. Power aliases. We're gonna hit next. Power aliases. PP3V3G3 hot. Let's check that. Because I'm thinking if we don't have that, then there's really no point in measuring anything else. Oh, we're going to measure this. 
Got some capacitors over here. Go back to scope cam. Next to it's got an inductor over here. Yep, mm, there's a chip and a big capacitor. So it could go on this capacitor right next to that chip. We'll plug in this, see what we got for 3v3 G3 hot. We got 43 millivolts. That's not good. Okay. Unplug it. The power. Go back to dial mode. And let's check for a short. Do we have a short on PP3V3 G3 hot? Survey says. We do. Let's go to resistance mode. 2.5 ohms to ground. Boo. So, with knowing what power rails we should have to start with, instead of just blindly measuring things, we know we need PB bus G3 hot and PP 3V3 G3 hot first. Since we do not have PP 3V3 G3 hot and that power rail is shorted to ground, we should drop a screwdriver on the floor in anger. All right, so what we are going to do now is take this little MacBook board out of the case and we are gonna find out why PP3V3 G3 hot is shorted. Probably, if I had to guess, I would say it's a capacitor. It's shorted to ground. So we're going to try, instead of just injecting voltage like a madman, we're going to actually use our eyeballs and inspect the board and see if maybe we can see a cracked capacitor. Whoops. All right, you're undoing logic board screws and SSD screws at the same time. You need to pay attention. So SSD screws, we're going to gently lift and pull out the SSD. Probably don't have to do this until the board is out of the case, but okay. And now we'll remove the logic board screws. We'll put them down there. All right. So I saved a step. I removed the the bottom usually when I do a preliminary diagnostic on these I just open the bottom quickly and look around and stuff um, I just forgot to put the bottom back on but I'm lazy and I'm not going to uh, reset this computer just for the sake of starting a video we are just going to go with it the way it was opened. So what is on, what is on that line? What capacitors are on that line? That may be shorted. Probably on the next to the audio cable. Um, our choices are pretty limited. It could be our U7000 could be bad too on the back because that's where I think PP3V3 G3 hot comes from. If I'm not mistaken, let's see. Wait. No, look up U7000. 
Yeah, it's the ISO. ISL nine two three nine. Creates PP bus. Not. Where does PP three V three G three hot? We have a PM enable PP three yeah. Yeah, power management enable P three V three G three hot. So it's not PP three V three yeah, PP three V three G three hot. U1900? Are you what creates that? No. Anyway. We'll figure it out. Oh, I need to shave. My face is itchy. Do I have sound? Is everything working? Alright, we're 11 minutes in already. Darn it. Let's go. Let's not make this up. Two-hour board repair. Um, yeah, basically, I like. I'm starting to do to the point where I'm gonna like take board, uh, computers apart, test them, repair them to get them working, and then call it the video done instead of cleaning the board and everything because it just adds a necessary length to the video. Some point, I'll get into editing videos and shortening them. Right now, that is not my, it's not very important to me. Not as important as repairing. All right, um, the board is out. Okay, the inside of it looks really good. Wow, can't even see what I'm showing you. I had all these windows in my way. Inside looks good. I don't see any evidence of anything crazy except for there's one rusty screw right there. There's some a little bit of stuff over here too. So we'll go ahead and plug the board back in out when it since it's out of the case and see if by some miracle all of a sudden we're getting 20 volts, um, which has happened. And we're not going to use that charger because that goes to a older machines. We're going to plug in the right one. And what do you know? The board's turning on. So it's probably an audio bar board problem, I imagine. Yep, 19.7 volts, 540 milliamps. So this, this board is working. All right. So uh, there's not going to be any soldering going on in this video, but it still could still troubleshoot. See, 19, 20 volts almost, 280 milliamps, which is what it'll do if it's not hooked into anything else. I don't see anything corroded on this board, to be honest. Um, it's really clean. The only liquid damage I found is actually on towards the audio board, which makes me believe that the audio board is probably faulty. I mean, there's some kind of hazy little shadow looking things around this board a little bit but not any nothing I would co would consider being liquid damage in fact it looks like this board may have been ultrasonic which I'm willing to wager could be it so we'll go ahead and move the microscope out of the way as much as possible and we're going to inspect the case and all the liquid damage that I saw. We'll put our beautiful working board over here. Is over here. So I'm willing to bet we have a bad power button. Does this have touch ID? No good. Um Yeah, so maybe we can touch take this apart real quick hope the screen's still good we'll probably probably just needs a new power button maybe a new keyboard I mean which is you know gonna save my customer money 
save them from having to pay me to, to do logic board repair. Isn't this supposed to just come out? Yep, that's the audio board. Damn, it's stuck. I don't know that it's supposed to be that stuck. There we go. Just needed some uh, convincing. You know what? Let's take the speaker out too. I forgot this is a 2017 model, so the speakers actually still come out with screws. The newer MacBook Airs I know have um, command strips holding them in. So there's some liquid under there. You can see all the liquid right here. I mean, it doesn't penetrate the speaker at all. I'm sure the speaker is still fine. We'll clean that up. This, this cable. Oh, and it's connected to the microphone too, or the yeah. So we're they'll have to replace that whole cable, which is fine because we probably have that in stock. Come on out of here. Oh, there's like glue right here. I just don't want to force it. I mean, it's going to have to get replaced anyways. But Yeah. It looks a little worse for wear. Not good. What about the keyboard? There's some liquid on the... Any sticky keys? No, no sticky or crunchy keys, really. And they don't sound perfect, but... Yeah. So, I not to really ruin the keyboard, I, would, I don't think. So, let's plug... Let's plug the logic board back in and just see if... We can get an image. We can get something up on the screen without the audio board plugged in. Since that's our probably our culprit. Plug the screen in, trackpad, battery looks fine too, we'll wait to plug that in, we'll plug a speaker in just for um, effect. Plug in our fan, I mean our keyboard, that's our keyboard. Let's not plug the keyboard in yet, because the keyboard could be faulty, too. Let's plug in... We'll just plug in the screen and a speaker and the trackpad, and that's it. And then we'll put a screw in here to hold the board in so it doesn't fly out at us. So which means our fan is not going to spin, because the fan is plugged into the keyboard, and then the keyboard is plugged into... The logic board. You watch the screen for me and I'll watch the board. Yep, so it's 20 volts, 500 milliamps. So we should get a blinking question mark folder. So we'll just plug in. Yep, there's a chime sound. Saying, hey, you plugged something into me. Come on, give me a give me a flashing question mark. 
unless the screen's not working. CPU's warm. I mean, we're drawing 400 milliamps, so 380, so it should. Should get a flashing question mark folder, I would assume. So, I mean, not board repair, but hey, you know, still got to, still had to troubleshoot. Unless this thing's flex gated. <laughs> Where did the screen plugged in? You gonna give me a question mark folder or no? Press the wrong button. Hmm. All right, we're getting nothing. So let's unplug that, and we're gonna plug the fan in. And the keyboard. Hmm. Go ahead and grab the SSD as well. We might have a bad screen. Could have shorted. Let's check. Let's check the backlight circuit and see if it's shorted. No. That's ground. No, our backlight circuit isn't shorted to ground, so we should have backlight. Um, okay, let's try this again. I'll have to pay attention. I don't want, if somehow an Apple logo comes up, I don't want someone's information to be coming up. There's our chime again, our little chime. It's still working. And that's not a good sign. Gonna have to pull out my HDMI or my HDMI to USB C connector and see if we got are getting an image externally. If we are, then I imagine this screen is no good. Um Okay. Well, it's doing something weird. I wonder if the SSD is bad. It's 20 volts going to... Alright, yeah, it's doing something weird. I'm wondering if the keyboard's messed up too, so we'll unplug that. Unplug the keyboard, and now we just have the SSD, the trackpad. and the LCD, SSD trackpad LCD plugged in. So let's see if it comes up now. It was going to 20 volts, but it was going down to 100 and something milliamps. So still 500. Yeah, 
I have not seen that screen energize at all. 490. So the board's turning on. Three twenty, one forty, one hundred, one thirty. Yes, yeah, we would have should have gotten an image by now. So let's check and see if the trackpad is causing anything. So now it's just the SSD and the LCD. We'll try this again. If it doesn't work, we will plug in an external or hook it up to a monitor to my to my monitor and see if we get something to pop up if we do then we know that the screen's bad the keyboard's probably bad So we're at 300, 290 milliamps. Still no image, so that's not good. 230 milliamps. 220, 200. 170, 130. All right, so we're gonna try it with an external monitor here. And if I happen to get something on the external screen, I will switch over and show you. I'm gonna try it first real quick and see. Just trying to get an image on this board. That's why I plugged in the mo the uh, speaker so I can hear it chime. So there's our chime. Apple logo. So we have an Apple logo. So the board works. Let's measure out, um, backlight output. Bet you the screen's ruined. It's flex gated. Well, we got zero volts on backlight output, which is not good. Okay. I'm just waiting for it to boot up. I do apologize if you can't see me. Um, where's my remote? I actually have a five port HDMI switch hooked up to my computer so I can come back to, I can switch back to OBS while this thing's booting, which is very nice. Ha. Mm, I gotta make sure I don't have anything pulled up that I shouldn't. Yeah, I'm not gonna switch to monitor because I got a picture of my kid on my desktop. Uh, let's go back to screen to in or output for input for excuse me. Is this thing booted yet? Yep, it has. So it booted. 
I'm looking at a lo logo, a login screen. Um, the keyboard and everything is unplugged, so I'm going to have to manually shut it off. Okay. So we know the board boots. We know the SSD is good. So far. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the SSD out because we know that works. And I can boot externally, or boot, yeah, externally from my boot drive. Because I don't care if you see my stuff. Plug in my hard drive. We're going to plug in the trackpad. We're going to start plugging stuff in here and see if it still boots external, if it's just no image. Because it, if it is, it's we have something going on with the backlight circuit, which we can troubleshoot. And we know the audio board is the audio board is bad. Um. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Because I need to put power to this board. Let's try the battery. See if the battery's any good. See if the battery's any good. I may have to mute. My son is running around. Let's Oops. Try to get the battery info cable plugged in. Come on. Why aren't you working? What is going on here? I got to figure out how to plug power because I, I need the external screen. that should do it Let's plug the battery in we plug the key trackpad in and now I bought a adapter well let's see if the computer will turn on without um, without power just the battery plugged in and is not so I'm going to have to find I'm gonna have to find my Apple adapter box or adapter that I bought specifically for this purpose um, is it in here What did I do? What did I do with that thing? I know I never pulled it out of the box. What did I do with it? Ha, here it is. It's the USB-C to digital AV. Ha ha. The answer to my problem. pop this bad boy out and it's authentic apple whatever that's supposed to mean Does that mean it's gonna work for a while and then die probably um, instructions yeah we don't need those don't need the paper apple sticker ha ah, look at that fancy Ba boom look at that <clears throat> so now we can undo that undo that 
put our HDMI out. Take our SSD, put it in there. Now we have one. Boom, like that. And now we can plug our power in. Like that. And see what happens. Mm, nothing's happening. What did I do? There we go. Looks like I had to think about it for a minute. Except it's not working. My USB is not um, turning on. Why is my USB not turning on? So we got a flashing question mark folder. Okay. So the battery's working. So let's shut it off. Right. Okay. Well, that presents an issue. Oh, wait. Never mind. It's working. What am I talking about? All right. It's booting up. The power button's not working, though. This is good. All right. So far, we know that the board works. The screen probably doesn't. We know the audio board needs to probably re be replaced because it's nasty looking. Yes, the screen is still not turning on. Did you just die? No, you didn't. You did. Hmm. What if I plug power into this? Will that work still? Or will it blow up? Is the MacBook going to explode now because I plugged a USB-C power adapter into my AV adapter? So far I don't see smoke or fire or flames. Let's switch back to five. Sit here for a minute, see if we hear a chime. Or I mean, listen for a chime. Oh, it's working. Okay. So you can plug power into that. Because my SSD, the light on my external SSD is now blinking. At least it was. What is going on here? What is this? What is the meaning of this? Now you're not turning on? Grr. I gotta have all this stuff plugged in. Oh, I didn't push it in all the way. That's why. Dork. Got to hear you got to make sure and listen to the audible the audible click. Audible click in the AV adapter. I didn't push the USB port to plug all the way in and hear it didn't feel the click. It's probably what happened. So I heard the chime. I know the board's getting power. We got a flashing question mark folder. Which is silly because I literally just did this before. 
What if I unplug it and plug it back in? Will that work? I like the older machines because you can see if it's charging anything. You can't tell this thing's doing anything. Like, if you didn't have a USB-C ammeter like I do, you can't. You wouldn't be able to tell if your MacBook's charging or not. What do I gotta do? Sit here and wait for it to to charge. Anyway, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to charge the battery for a while. Because this thing doesn't want to work. I got it. Um, you know what I could do real quick? I'm going to plug in my USB-C ammeter with the battery hooked up and we'll see how much current it's drawing. And based on that, typically it's 500 milliamps for just the board to turn on. But if it's charging the battery, it's going to be around an amp or two. And we're at 1 amp. 1.14. 1.3 so it is charging the battery one and a half amps one and three quarters two amps three amps is about max i know if this thing goes up to four or five amps <laughs> then we have big problems it's holding steady at 2.8 so it is charging the battery So 2.8 amps, so it is charging the battery. So the board works. The battery works. I don't know how, what its what its uh, health is, status is, if it's, you know, and if it's working or not. It's obviously taking a charge. I don't know how many cycles it has or anything. But I can't see... I can't see a flashing question mark on this screen. I wonder if I try to wipe the screen off a little bit with the screen wipe and get it nice and clean. If I can see a flashing question mark folder, because that would tell me if it's flex gate, like the, if the backlight's not working or if the actual screen is dead. Which doesn't matter, it's equally as damning. Because if, if the screen's flex gated or whatever, we don't do those kind of repairs, so. I have to get a new screen and or if the screen is dead I have to get a new screen but at least if it's no backlight I can either check to see if it's flex gate or if well there's no short on backlight so that's another clue that it's probably flex gate because there's no short usually if if the board has got an issue it'll be uh, the backlight circuit will be shorted and I'm not reading any shorts on the backlight circuit on the actual logic board yeah we're at three amps holding steady so it's charging the battery it's really hard to see on these screens if you have an image or not how long has this video been 45 minutes okay all right we obviously are not going to repair this because i don't have a a1708 screen lying around um, to replace this, I have, I don't even think I have a test screen for this machine either because they're expensive. I don't have one just lying around. be kind of nice if I did. Probably should buy one. Should probably buy a good test, a known good test screen for every machine that I service. That could get very expensive. As the next to the logic board, the screen is one of the most expensive things for computers yeah I just ain't I'm not seeing anything so I'm I'm guessing the screen is probably bad 
I'm not seeing a flashing question mark logo. But we're at 3 amps, so it's charging the battery. Yeah, I can't see anything. Yeah, so I'm willing to bet that it's the screen is bad. The screen is bad and this audio cable is bad. The keyboard could be bad. I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm just going to let it sit here and charge the battery. I'm going to sit here and let this battery charge and then I'll, I'll hook up my, hook it up to my HDMI switch so I can t to put it on the screen, this, the screen up here and see if I can log into my external boot drive and check the battery and see if the health of the battery, if the battery is okay. And then if that's the case, then uh, I can pretty much just tell the customer Hey, you need a new audio board. Um, I can check the keyboard too while I'm doing that. Check the keyboard in the backlight on the keyboard so I can tell them, hey, the board's good, the battery's good, the screen is bad, the audio and mic flex is bad, and the keyboard is bad, if that's the case. So, obviously it's going to take a couple hours for this to charge to you know 50% or something I'm not going to keep this video running um, so yeah I mean it's a no fix right now in this video but it's probably a fixable computer depending on how much they want to spend and that's it so that's as far as we can go on this one for now take care